All right. Here, ball of hand. Okay. Yeah, so there are certainly a few components to our design, but one of the things that we really stressed out about was uh, trying to become useful to all the teams. Uh, we have, a, for example, we do have a rope a climbing design where we feel that other designs that other teams have presented are much better um, than, than ours or are more efficient and more reliable. Um, but what we want to focus on was our surface of our machine, the top side. Uh, so we actually separated the top into three parts, one for gears, uh, one for the cannon, and one for the ball. That way we do all three efficiently. Um, what these lines represent are the division between uh, the three elements. Um, the balls, as you know, the cannon and the balls relate to each other in the fact that they need the same uh, ammo. So what we want to do is combine that by creating a slope, as we have demonstrated here in this uh, thing. Yeah, thing. Uh, so here's the slope, right? And the balls, once they're deposited on the top, will land here and roll down. And at a particular point, which is this uh, divot right there, uh, the balls will just hit that and either go to the cannon side or the ball side. And because of its low, uh, because it's so low compared to the rest of the surface area, less balls will go into the cannon, and while more go into this side. And will always have a supply for either or. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, once the balls go down the slope, they end up uh, at the exact height of 1.6 inches, and a hinge, which is kind of represented down here, a uh, hinge will drop, allowing the balls to get caught into low efficiency uh, shield tank. And then here we have a, kind of represented by here, a straight platform, you know, a straight platform which will, uh, which will allow Ball roll down, they go into the straight platform so you can shoot straight and uh, into the high efficiency uh, into the high efficiency uh, hole. And it's uh, smack in the center that way it aims easier. On the other side, we have uh, the gear here. It's actually a different slope, most likely, but we can't really, due to uh, time and material restrictions, we couldn't represent that. But a gear from the gearbox would land directly on here. Uh, like slide down onto a little stop, like a little hinge here, right? And so the gear just sits there while you drive around. Uh, it sits there. And until, when, once it's time to put on the gear, the, the surface will move upwards, position the gear uh, directly parallel or almost parallel to the point at which we need to put it on or the peg. And once that happens, the door here will drop and the gear will fall directly in the peg and then throw it back up and it's on there. Um, uh, another thing we decided to do is that um, we wanted to we wanted to make sure that not only could we you uh, pick up the balls from the deposit banks but also from the floor um, by using this design here. So as you can see this is our um, rope climbing machine, we thought of simply putting a track on the bottom, which, uh, would ascend, which would push the rope together. So if the rope is on the ground, if the rope is on the ground, the robot can simply... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you fall off the chair! Yeah. If the rope is on the ground, the robot can simply go over it, and it will pick it up and basically eat the rope and filter it through the other side. Uh, these lines over here represent kind of what we saw in the first robotics video, a machine that could simply roll over the balls and pick them up. And from and what will happen is that while you're driving around, you don't have to concern yourself. It will just simply continue to pick it up, and which would lead to what we thought was a good idea, an internal conveyor belt right here, uh, which I can't really rotate the picture, but basically the balls will go into that little tube, and uh, with Kind of like, it doesn't matter. They'll go up and go up to the surface of our robot um, on the ball side with two little holes. There. 30 seconds. And come out. That's it. Anything like that? Or is that. Um, just to avoid balls falling, of course, we have like, the side right. Just and the rope from falling out of the bottom. Yeah. Also the gears. And it would, um, the person who would be putting the gear down the ramp would just have to make sure to place it in the correct. Okay, so just for purposes of documentation of the video, if you had to pick which ones we want 
do you want us to focus on to evaluate now? Which ones or all of them? Like when you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, so we know what to document. I would probably focus on gear placement and collecting. Tell us the numbers, please. Two, three, and four. Would you agree uh, with that? Okay, so I, evaluating I two, three, and four. Can you turn it off? It's super important, too, because I think that's 50 points. I feel like we're undervaluing that right now. Which one? I didn't hear you. Climbing. Climbing. Climbing is super important. No, no, I know it's important. I want to pause. You want us to focus on the design oh, of... Okay.